I left my abusive boyfriend five months ago. He has made my life a living hell since. Five months ago I posted on this subreddit talking about how unhappy I was in my relationship with my boyfriend. He was becoming very abusive and most people told me to leave and so I did. I don't regret leaving but ever since I left I no longer have a life. He's smart because he never threatens me directly. I have tried to press charges but there is nothing concrete I can use against him. I live by myself and he stalks me. Unfortunately I have no witnesses because during our relationship he isolated me from the few friends I had made here and now I have no one I can talk to or ask for help. He sends me texts from unknown numbers, created a blog where he posted private pictures of me that I had sent to him during our relationship. It's nothing scandalous but it still makes me uncomfortable. There's so much more but I'm too exhausted to describe it. I don't regret leaving. I just wish I could do something legally. I have questioned the police about a restraining order and they laughed at me. My ex-boyfriend used to be a good person but his mental health started deteriorating during the pandemic and now I'm scared of him and what he might do. I don't know what the point of this post was. Maybe I just wanted to vent but advice is also welcome. Change your number. Don't go to his blog. Move if you can. Even if it's just to somewhere else in the city. Make sure you at least have pepper spray on you at all times, especially at night. I would definitely one dot get rid or make a new account that's private off social media too. Change number three. Move somewhere else's but don't tell anyone besides family and close friends and four dot get pepper spray and take self-defense classes. Have you changed all of your bank and personal passwords? Changed your email passwords? Changed your email password? Then change your phone number. Keep screenshots of the text messages. Get a camera for home. Reach out to your friends again. Just send a friendly text or call. Start small. Build your life back up. Depending on the pics, him posting them online could be revenge porn, and you could nail him with that. If you can move, move away. As far away as you can. If you can't, get a few cameras and put them up around your place. Change your phone number. Lock down your social media profiles. Change your email. And start making new habits. Don't be predictable. Try to rebuild your social circle. Go to therapy. Start taking self-defense classes. How does this not quality as harassment or stalking? Do you screenshot, save, write down everything he does, says. Have proof of several number changes and moving locations, and despite that him still effortlessly reaching you. Can you use a camera to catch physical stalking, if he does so? If so, why does that evidence not count to the police? Can you move back to where your family and old friends are? Would you be safer around them? Maybe get more solid proof that way. Created a blog where he posted private pictures of me that I had sent to him during our relationship. If those are sexual pictures, he may have committed a crime. Revenge porn is a crime in some jurisdictions. You need legal advice. Go talk to a lawyer, not the shitty Reddit sub. Can you afford a cheap camera to put outside your place in case you catch him stalking? Go to local women's resources domestic violence center for help. They know their shit and sometimes they work with the police. When I was in a similar situation the only thing that worked for me was telling his parents everything. He was furious with me for getting in contact with them and they were both extremely angry and worried about his behavior. They ended up convincing him to move back in with them and then it stopped. Is this something you could do? Why the fuck did the police laugh you know what I'm not even surprised they're unhelpful. Depending on the state in which you live, you can file for a temporary restraining order in the court. The statute should determine what is required to file the petition. You will thus not need to go through the police. You don't need the police's permission to get a restraining order. A judge will grant one after a hearing. Please note that Roe often do not actually stop stalking behavior at all and can escalate it. It just means he's more likely to get in trouble when you call the police about it. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. But it's unlikely to actually make you safer. Are there any domestic abuse shelters in your area? Call them and they might have help and resources for people in your position. Stalking is something they deal with a ton. I don't know what brand of phone you have but there are apps to find your phone, other devices or, or where your friends are if you share location data with them. 
On Apple phones it is called, Find My, on iOS devices there is one called, I Find Phones, for Android it is called, Find My Device, there are others. Look up, Find Phone Apps, to see more. You are probably sharing locations with him. He may have set up sharing without your knowledge. Check all the folders on any phones, or computers that you have. Once you find the app either remove it or shut off, share location. If he has uploaded photos of you that you sent him with the intention of them being kept between you two, that could fall under the category of revenge porn. Not saying you were naked, but still same idea. There is a legal remedy for this. Talk with a lawyer or your local legal aid. You can also set up a virtual private network, VPN, for your devices. That will hide your location when you're online. Straight up delete all your social media and don't make new ones for a while. Change your email addresses. Change your number. Get rid of anyone who knew him that knows you. Basically you have to start a new life. I don't know how to navigate telling your work you have a potential stalker or simply moving out of the area might be better. If he's finding you after you already wiped your info, is there a chance he is in contact with a friend of yours? Is it possible he can still access your computer remotely? It's not hard to do if he is handy with computers. Can you take your computer somewhere to get checked out? Did you change all the passwords and access points on your phone or get a new phone? Do you have family you can move in with for a while? Completely reset all your contact information. Phone. Social media. Change your email if you can. If you're in the UK try for a non-molestation order. It's like a restraining order, but far easier to obtain though I'm fairly sure you will have to renew it annually. Reach out to your old friends, or try making new ones, though work or local groups. If you can get CCTV or even a video doorbell for your place do that, too, and change your locks if you haven't already. My husband is doing something similar to me. No threats or following me. Just being very persistent in wanting to talk, and a ring doorbell is doing wonders because I can tell him to piss off behind the safety of a locked door. In addition to all of the other suggestions, you could also speak to a local domestic violence advocacy center. They can help you figure out what you can or can't do, how to go about documenting things, etc. They may also have resources or ideas you didn't know about, think of that could help. Sometimes they have in-house lawyers who can look into what's going on to see if there's any legal options. They also often have connections with local law enforcement which can be useful. Get yourself a big old dog. Take the stuff that you've mentioned and go to court for a no-contact order. Tell them that you are afraid of him and show them the texts from the throwaway numbers. Show them the pictures he's posted of you without your consent. It's a little tenuous, but you could still get that order in front of the right judge. Call a women's shelter and ask for advice. They may direct you to their legal counselor that can help you with a ceased and desist and eventually a protection order. Also document everything. Write it down now. Maybe keep a Google Doc that a friend has access to. I would do a background check. More than likely, he has done this before. You do have evidence you can use. Make screen copies of any correspondence from him. If you do not expose him, he will escalate. Get a protective order and see the police. Describe the situation to them. I had an ex who would contact me using different websites that allowed you to text from online. I did a Google search and blocked my number from the results on the first two pages of Google. All of the sites had the option to opt out of receiving texts from them. The texts stopped. This could help you. Also, it is so sad, frustrating that so many people here have hard-earned advice for you. Install some video cameras. Wise Cam is inexpensive and works super well. And a video doorbell like Ring or EasyViz. Document everything. Try to start making friends and being social. Have people over. I know it's hard during the pandemic so maybe that's not possible where you live. Why didn't changing the number work? Move if you can. Women's shelters are pretty helpful. They sometimes can put you up in a hotel. They also give you a new cell phone here in NJ. Police are not very helpful unless you keep going and pestering them. Also threaten them W lawyer if they don't listen. Also, one you get temporary restraining order you can amend it on your own and add extra details. Read, why does he do that? Lots of good advice there. You said you were still friends with his family. Is there anything they could, 
would do to help you get him off your back. This sounds pretty terrible. I wouldn't want one of my kids doing this to anyone. If he's mentally ill, perhaps he needs to be restrained or institutionalized. If he's stalking you, take photos. Live steam it. Definitely listen to everyone's advice about how to protect yourself physically. If, God forbid, it had to come to that. But I have been in this situation with two different guys. It is terribly hard to obtain a protection order without a solid paper trail. Document absolutely everything. I hope everything turns out okay with this for you. I do not know what type of phone you have but if he is calling you and you need proof of the convo, there are apps where you can record the whole thing. Some free, some not I believe. Rev call recorder for iPhone is an example and it is free. T-Mobile also has scam shield for their service so you can add all the numbers on the no call list. I am so sorry you are going through this. I hope things get better. Are you sure there's no one you can reach out to? Or are you just assuming they don't want to speak to you? Please reach out for help. And keep everything he does as evidence. Document document document. No matter how little. Stalking is never taken seriously until it's too late. His behavior will escalate. Trust me. At this rate your only realistic option is moving somewhere else where no one knows you. Like a state where there's strict anti-stalking laws. Just moving cities is not good enough to protect yourself from someone unraveling this quick. For now I recommend installing your own personal security system. Get security cameras outside and in your car. Join a support group for abused women. You'll make some new friends. And they'll have great ideas about how to help you. Change your number. Consider moving again. Never respond to him on anything. Every tiny thing you say or do is fuel for him to keep going. Most of the time, if they can't get a reaction out of you, it gets old. If he has any family you can reach out to, reach out to them and ask them to talk to him. Document everything. Call the police every time. They don't do much, but it creates a paper trail. Just keep blocking every number he uses to contact you and block any attempts he does to contact you online. It's a war of attrition at this point. Next you might want to buy security cameras if he is stalking you. He might try to break into your house. If you record that, then you have evidence to convict him. I heard recently they're making revenge porn a felony and I think it said nationally and you're in the US. If I'm right, you're in the US and you can trace the blog to him you could take legal action once the law's instituted. Yo what if he hired a pie? This is a hell of a situation to be in. The best you can do is not give him the satisfaction of seeing you suffer. It seems to be what he wants. Don't read his texts. Don't go to his website. Don't acknowledge his existence if at all possible. If you can record him stalking you multiple times you might try again with the restraining order. That's shitty. I think you could look up how to get a restraining order in your location but I think you don't always need proof. If you collect the screenshots and whatever and say you believe that it is this person I think they'll grant it. I'm not sure though. Definitely stay strong. Remember that you have your whole new free life and no matter what he does, you can just move on and focus on every direction away from him. If you're of legal age to buy a handgun I would suggest protecting yourself first and foremost. Because irrational people like that have sporadic behavior like you said. You don't know what he can do. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Worst case dead in a ditch or creek. If he does anything to you physically from that point on legally it's self-defense if say he's to attack you and you cap him in the knees per se. Cans of wasp spray can be useful. They are inexpensive so you can place them strategically throughout your home and car. They send a targeted spray 8 to 10 feet so you don't have to be close to spray it in his eyes and it doesn't permeate the room oh you can still see to escape. I always keep one in my car for emergencies. Stay safe. You have to go no contact and maintain it. Stalkers want your attention. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad attention. Just so long as you're giving him attention. So stop feeding him. Change your phone number if you have to. Don't reply to any messages that you suspect are from him. Eventually he will stop and find someone else to bother. Learn to shoot. Maybe look up charities in your area that deal with stalking, domestic violence and see what advice they have that you can follow. I would imagine keeping records of the stalking, going to the police if it escalates and keep going so at least there is some record of what is happening.
I would also try and do stuff to counter the isolation, depending on where you are due to COVID. Maybe volunteer or take up a new hobby. Lastly, it might be worth looking into counseling to help you recover from your experience with your ex-boyfriend. They laughed ha. Huh? Restraining orders are easy to get from the courts. You want me to kick his ass? I think the blog and the messages are concrete enough. Can you move? I actually remember that post. Unfortunately, I don't have any advice that hasn't been said by others here, but I genuinely hope you can find something out. Stay safe. Heart. Shame it's not legal to hire someone to beat the absolute shit out of him. God I want to beat this man within an inch of his fucking pathetic life. Maybe then he'd learn.